Unapologetic Beauties. My name is Stephanie and this is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty. If you're new to this channel, please take a second and subscribe because we have a lot of great videos coming up and there's a lot of great videos that are already on my channel that you might want to watch. Also, please let me know in the comments if you're liking these kinds of uh, makeup reviews and swatches and just kind of getting my general opinion. It's quick, it's dirty, it's easy. So let me know in the comments if that's working for you, if you want me to do something different different like maybe stand on my head and do it this is a burn I got for my curling iron I'm not just breaking out in a rash I burned myself curling my hair which beauty is pain so anyway let's talk about Anastasia dream glow kit their new highlighting kit I talked about this in my anti haul a couple of months ago and said I would absolutely not be purchasing it because I already had the moon child and I thought that I had enough highlighters to wear on my face that were crazy colors and I couldn't, you know, wear day to day. But I caved and I got it because I saw it in Ulta and it was beautiful. And I just was like, why not? YOLO, I can talk about it on my channel. If I really don't like it, I can re-gift it. It's not that big of a loss. We're gonna go through the swatches. So I'll show you the swatches and I'll tell you what each color is supposed to be. And then I'll tell you my first impressions and my general thoughts on the palette. Okay, so if you're ready for that, keep watching, let's go. Okay, so here's the ABH Dream Glow Palette. It is a $45 with six pans in here, so that's about $7.50 per pan. It's a powder highlighting kit featuring six ultra reflective shades with multi-dimensional sparkle. So the six shades to highlight can be used on the eyes, face, and body. They're in a buildable metallic luster formula and can be applied wet or dry. So here is the inside. Let's go over these six pans and the shades and I'll swatch them for you. Um, so the first one is Wish. So that's this one right here. This is Wish. And Wish is supposed to be a pearl base with violet sparkles. So I definitely see a pearl base. Um, this is, I think, the most wearable one in the palette, um, but I do not see violet sparkles. Let's see if we see them when we put it on. What do you think? You see violet sparkles? Let's add a little more and see if we can see the violet sparkles. I guess I do, like glaring into my finger, I can kind of see them. And it does have that kind of shift when you move around where I can see a little bit of like a purple tone. The next one is Unicorn and this is supposed to be lavender and pink sparkle clusters. I'm not sure what that means but let's take a look. Alright so there it is on my finger and on the skin. That's very pretty. It's not too pink and it's kind of got like a purple shift to it. Okay, all right, next we have Magic. So here is Magic. And this is supposed to be an icy base with a kaleidoscope cluster of red, gold, pink, and blue sparkles. Wow, that is a lot. So, get some on the finger. So, that is what Magic looks like on the finger. And then on the skin, So this is the top row of the ABH Dream Glow Kit. This one here is Wish, and then Unicorn, and then Magic. All right, let's go to the second row. So here in the second row, you have uh, Ethereal. This one here is Ethereal. So this is supposed to be a cool toned lavender duochrome with blue reflective sparkle. So that sounds gorgeous to me. I am a sucker for anything purple, so I'm gonna grab my other hand and throw that on my finger. So this is what it looks like on the finger. Ooh. It looks a little bit more pink than purple to me, but let's look at it on the skin. It's 
So I actually like these because they're not crazy. Like it's not like an eyeshadow, like boom, you know, and you see all this color. So it's very wearable. Um, it, but also very sparkly. All right, so next you've got Sunshine. I really like this one. I didn't think I would, but I did. So the Sunshine's a lavender and gold shift. Um, so I will go ahead and get some of that on my finger. This is what it looks like on the finger. Oh, I don't wanna hold my middle finger up to you. Oh, here's Sunshine on the finger. Don't pay attention to this finger, but I don't want to like flick you off. So that's sunshine on the finger. And then on the skin. And I know it's like really hard to see, but it is very pretty. So the last one here is, that we're going to talk about and that's in the palette is Regal. And this one is a golden pink base with light kaleidoscope clusters of pink, gold, and blue sparkles so that's a lot going on here like i didn't even know until i just read the description how much was supposedly in there but um so that is it on the finger i feel like it's kind of like orange actually um but then on the skin so this is the one to me that stands out the most out of almost all of them um, this is the one I would probably use as an eyeshadow, not as a highlight unless I was feeling crazy, but like looking at it right now, I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's kind of orangey, but that could be because of all the different colors in it that's supposed to be in there for sparkly, like kaleidoscope -y kind of thing. So let's talk about what I thought about it. So overall, I'm really glad I have this glow kit. So this kind of gives me a little bit of a, um, the ability to kind of do something different. I like that if you wanted to, you could match your eyeshadow to your highlight, which I think is really cute. It kind of um, ties things in. I like doing that sometimes with my blush, like using my blush in my eyes. And it kind of just gives it like a tied together unified look. And I think they're really beautiful. The pans are big. Um, I think in general, this is bigger than the Moonchild and the Aurora palette. Um, but it's the same size, like everything inside is the same amount. So that's just strange. Maybe they just wanted to go with a bigger, hopefully like sturdier packaging because I dropped my Moonchild kit once and it just smashed. Colors are beautiful. They are really, really pretty on the skin. I do think in some of them, just for me as a 30 something year old woman, the, the sparkles are too chunky and too like sparkly like too evidently sparkly you know so i'll put it on in the morning and i'll be like oh this looks good and then i'll go to work and i'll go to the bathroom and i'll look at my face and i'll just see this like smattering of sparkles everywhere and i'll be like oh it looks like i'm legitimately just wearing glitter like i just left a kasha concert so that might be something that i would maybe tone down the sparkles if you know i was focusing on an older demographic which abh probably isn't for these they're probably focusing on like really younger kids but you know i'm young at heart and i really enjoy a good sparkle so i liked it um i really think that for the price it's a good deal i think it's gonna last you a long time like my moon child kit last me ugh, i mean i still have some and i got it in i want to say january of last year so it's going on and besides that one pan i broke which i was really upset about i still have quite a bit in all of them except pink heart which was my favorite color and i felt the most wearable color and i think that's how i'm gonna feel about this wish color um i probably will avoid regal but i'm gonna pop on some sunshine like from time to time because it's a really this is to me is like the standout of the whole the whole glow kit um, I wasn't expecting it to be as beautiful as it was, but they're buttery, they're smooth, they're really pretty, they pop. So it's a fun palette to get. If you're already thinking about it, you should do it. And I really actually like when I put things in like an anti-haul or a purchaser pass where I'm like, not gonna get this. And then I change my mind just because I love makeup so much and I'm kind of a collector of makeup. So I change my mind and I'm proven wrong. And that's always possible, right? You can always be proven wrong. You can be really hating on something and then get it and you're like, oh, I feel kind of stupid. Like this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. That's kind of how I how I feel right now. Also, I just did a review on the ABH Norvina palette, which I probably already have posted. If I have, I'll put the link to that in the description and I'll also post it. 
I'm gonna post it here, I think. I think this is where it goes. I always get confused. Where's it go? Where's it go? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be here, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be one of those places. So go there and check that out if you're also interested in the ABH Norvina palette and what I thought about it and to check out the swatches. Okay, so I hope you all have a very, very lovely day. Stay kind and stay beautiful and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here as always. I love you all, Mwah. bye.